Brandon from Particle. Now I've been a fan of Particle hardware and software since long before I joined the company. And one of my favorite parts of the Particle experience is the little RGB LED included on every single device. Recently, I wrote a blog post about common device modes and how Particle uses color patterns and cycles in the RGB LED to let you know how it's doing. For more information on that post, check out the link below. Now you can also use the RGB LED yourself and control it through your own apps. Today, I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. For the first approach, I wired a photon to a series of potentiometers, or pots. One each to control the red, green, and blue portions of the, of the LED, as well as one to control the brightness and another the blink speed. These pots are each wired up to an analog pin of my photon. The first way I can control the RGB LED is through the RGB class of the Particle Device OS. After reading the value of each analog pin, I'll convert it to a valid RGB range between 0 and 255. Then I can use the color method to set the color and brightness to set the brightness of the LED. Alternatively, I can use the mirror to class method to map each pin directly on the, of red, green, and blue and save myself some sketch code. When this sketch is flashed to my device, I can twist the knobs and control my particle LED like a mad scientist. For the second demo, I'm going to use the LED status class, which is another class in the particle device OS. The LED status class allows me to do a bit more with the RGB LED, like control the blink pattern and rate, while ensuring that the device OS can continue to notify me when needed with standard device modes. For this demo, I'll need to add some cloud variables and functions to my photon sketch. These allow me to create an external app that can read the red, green, and blue values and call functions to update those based on user input in the app. With those exposed, I'm going to create a simple iOS app that allows me to take control of the RGB LED. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can create an app to talk to your particle devices. You can use a tool like Blink, you can create native iOS and Android apps using our SDKs, or you can create a cross-platform app, which is what I did. I created an app with NativeScript and Vue.js so that I can write more JavaScript, because you can never have too much of a good thing. It's true of LEDs, and it's true of JavaScript. My app consists of a single Vue.js component with sliders and switches to control the RGB LED, some state and on-change methods to respond to changes in the UI, and methods to call my cloud functions via the Particle Device Cloud API. In the app itself, I can read from sliders and other fields to determine RGB values and the blink rate, and then use the Par Particle Public API to call those cloud functions I set up earlier. Through the app, I can get any color combination I like. I can even make my device shout rainbows. Look at those blinky lights. The RGB LED on every particle device is a powerful tool. It's one that we use to let you know what your devices are up to, and one that you can use in your own apps. To learn more, head on over to docs.particle.io. Thanks for watching, and stay bright. Okay, Brandon, just breathe, Cyan. You can do this.